Hey and welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk about a very important topic and many traders are always struggling with this. And um, if you have been trading for a while, I'm pretty sure that you have asked yourself, is the market out there to get me? And the answer is yes. This might uh, be a little bit of a surprise and you didn't expect that, but um, let me walk you through an example and some trades that I took this week. First of all, it's very important to understand that when we look at such a chart, uh, those swing points, they stand out very, very nicely. It is very obvious to see those swing points. Many traders are trading those as support and resistance areas, double tops and double bottoms. And that is why it's so important to um, know about a, a little trick and a few principles to avoid common problems and mistakes that many traders have. And although those areas seem to be so obvious, it is not as easy to trade them. So let's go through this example. We have our first swing point here, and then let's just draw here our zone. Uh, doesn't matter really how deep it is. Uh, so here we have our first swing point. Then we see that price is coming here into the swing point again. We have this nice pin bar here, if we are zooming in a little bit, a very uh, precise pin bar, just penetrating the lows. It is a bull squeeze or a bear squeeze. Uh, if you want to learn more about this pattern, there's a link in the description to our trading room where we trade uh, such a pattern as well. And then you see that after this pin bar here, after this nice spike into this previous uh, support, the trend is completely reversing. We have a very strong move to the upside. Seems like a very easy trade. Not everybody will have caught that. Uh, it is a, a quite a fast reversal. It does look easy to trade in hindsight. And many traders will then beat themselves up because they've missed this very nice opportunity. Then what you can see is that price is coming back into this level again. Now this time many traders will know, okay, this has happened here the last time. This is the origin of this double bottom. So when price comes here again, there is a good chance that we have another run. And this time you don't want to miss that, right? So let's zoom in and look here what has happened. Then the price is coming into this level here again. We have a little bit of a spike here on the first candle. Uh, I'm pretty sure that many traders are too impatient. They're suffering from FOMO which means the fear of missing out. So they don't want to miss again this trade. What happens then is that they buy here when they see that price is um, hovering here around that. So they will be long here at this point. Then on the next candle, you can see that price is faking out um, very hard. So we are getting a, a fake out below the previous lows. So everybody who is long here will have their stop loss somewhere around here. And then this move will fish for all the stops many people will have a losing trade and they will sit on a, on a big loss here, uh, a force to exit the trade and then completely price reverses here at the same candle. Now it does look like price is ready to reverse to the upside right because we have had our fake out. It does look very uh, bullish here. We have this nice little double pin bar here and now many people will go short again. So what happens in the next candle is very typical. First we have an inside bar here, just a no momentum bar. We're moving a little bit down. In the duration of the candle we have moved down substantially actually, which is a, a little bit of a squeeze. Then here on the next candle again a, a doji bar, lots of indecision, small body, long wicks, means high volatility, no real movement. Again everybody who is long here already will start doubting their trade here at this point um, a lot and they are worried what is going to happen, will we have another squeeze. And then on the next candle you can see boom, we are moving down, we are closing at the very very bottom of the candle. We are making here the lowest close that we have ever seen here in this uh, double or triple bottom now. So a lot of people will be forced out of their trade probably. And then what happens is very classic here, you can see we are gapping up on the next candle. Uh, everybody who has exited their trade here for a loss is now wondering what the hell is going on. Uh, we are gapping up here and then after that we are moving higher. So let's zoom out here again. So here it is uh, quite hard to trade here uh, if you are just a support and resistance trader because we don't have any reference points here to the left. Then here it is the first time. Not many people will be sure if this is going to be really an important support level. So most of the traders will miss this level here. Of, although this is a good uh, move here then to the upside then they will beat themselves up because they've missed this initial trade. Then they will wait here for the next opportunity. Now at this point it is very, very, very obvious 
uh, what has happened here. The support level is very obvious. So many people will try to get here on board, uh, will try to get their long here because they've missed this opportunity. And then what the market is going to do, it is going to play with you. It is going to squeeze you. It is going to go for your stop loss. Uh, it is not the broker that is hunting your stops at this point. It is just the markets, the professional traders. They all know how you're going to play this. Uh, they know how the amateurs will put um, they are uh, buy orders way too early. They know where they're going to put their stops just ab below this uh, wick here. They're going to fish for the stop. They're going to squeeze you. They're going to rattle you out of your position. And then they are buying from you to drive this market up without you. And then here you're left again with a loss without a profit. You see that this has taken off and this is a very big frustration. So really start paying attention to um, those very obvious situations. Don't try to be the first into such a trade. Wait for the amateurs to be in a shaken out of such a trade and then you will get your chance. This was a nice trade that I have taken. I have um, announced it in the forum. We have talked about it in the watch list. So this is a pattern that we trade. If you want to know more about this way of trading, uh, there's a link in the description below. It is one of the few setups that we trade and I'm happy to share that with you in our pro room. Then here we have another very nice example with a very profitable trade that I was in this week. It is the British pound, Japanese yen. Again, we are on a four hour chart. And what you can see here uh, is that we have been in this nice downtrend. Then we started to looking for an uptrend uh, reversal for a long entry. Here at this point, we then see we have something like a mini head and shoulders. Let me draw that in for you. The head and shoulders is probably one of the most profitable uh, trading setups or trading patterns that I know of. It is not easy to trade uh, because there's a lot of uh, uh, concepts or uh, things that you need to know about a head and shoulders. There are lots of moving parts with the uh, two shoulders, with the dip, with the head, with the neckline uh, and the neckline break. So it's not easy. It is very good if you know what you're doing. Uh, if you want to know more, again, in the description is the link to the pro room. Then we have a deeper head and shoulders here or a broader head and shoulders. This uh, head and shoulders was triggered first. Probably you could have gotten in with a very nice trade. I traded here the second, the broad head and shoulders. Now you can see we have our neckline here. We are starting here from this one that we can draw in a very nice um, uh, neckline here. So we are connecting the, the highs here, the first swing high, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then here we are breaking it. Although this looks very easy and very um, obvious here at first glance, let's take a look at what has happened here. So you can see uh, we are moving here up already from the little head and shoulders. We're moving back into the previous highs, which we can mark here. It is very obvious again, a very good level. So you can see here uh, we are moving into this level. Then we are finding support here again. At this point, we could probably have seen without the benefit of hindsight that this is maybe our right shoulder here. So we have the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder, this little dip here. And then we are looking for a move um, higher and, and a break of the neckline. So where are all the amateurs going uh, long? Probably here. So you can see price after this uh, right shoulder here, price is moving up back into this level. We are closing pretty high. We're closing quite strong here. Uh, not really that strong if we um, look at it now, just barely closing above the highs. So many amateurs will go in here. Um, this is not a valid signal if you are trading the head and shoulders. You need a momentum shift, a strong break of the neckline. Again, a concept that I will teach you in the pro room uh, in the link in the description. And so I have I have set out here. I did not trade that. I then waited for the real head and shoulder to complete. We have a very long um, right shoulder here, a good range. And even more important, what we have here just before the breakout is this little uh, gap here. So it shows that the buying interest was... Um, being created here. We gapped here above the highs, above the previous um, swing high, so you can see that. So here was not the entry, again, not an entry, and you can see what happens here after this uh, gap higher. We quickly move back into the low. So uh, it was a high risk entry here. If you take that um, maybe a little bit too early, uh, the real entry was here. Once price has uh, substantially moved away, once we have already broken here the previous highs, we have even broken those highs, so I, we are making our first real higher high here. Uh, there's still a lot of room here to the upside. You don't really have to be the first to uh, in a trade. You don't have to enter here. You certainly don't have to enter here where we are just making a double top here or a triple top when we look at those highs. So um, it is important that you understand, don't try to be the first one in a trade. There is still uh, enough money to be made here. You can see that here. 
The move was huge. I did make enough money here on the move up. I did not have to be in the first one. Um, it always pays to be a little bit more patient, to wait for the real signal, to wait until the structure is actually broken. And so that is um, how you approach such a, a market and how you can filter out the bad signals where all the traders with FOMO, where uh, the traders who are impatient are flocking into the trade. Uh, don't try to be one of them. Wait a little bit longer. Uh, wait for a real breakout. And don't, tr and don't try to be the first one in such a trade. So I hope uh, those few little points and lessons are helping you in your own trading. Uh, it is a good starting point if you are trying to look for a trading method. Obviously, it's not enough to uh, start trading profitably. There are still a lot of moving parts that you need to be aware of. Again, if you want to learn how to trade, uh, there's a link in the description to our pro room where you will learn the exact trading strategies, all the patterns. You get daily mentoring from us. Uh, I share my weekly setups in the forum as well. And you can benefit from that and get active daily mentoring directly from me in our forum. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below.